WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 150. NASDAQ is up 22. S&P is off 8.5. Gold. Gold contract up $2.70, trading at 19.25 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $23.78 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 37 cents, eighty dollars thirty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note flat, one hundred nine oh two. Thirty-year up a half a point of fifteen ticks at one eighteen eleven. And king dollar. King dollar is trading up two hundred sixty-two ticks, trading out at one hundred three five sixty-two. Euro is at one hundred eight. Yen is trading at a price point of one forty-five, and the British pound is at one twenty-seven to one U.S. dollar. Let's go take a look at the S&P, okay? The S&P is trying to bounce out here. I suspect that we've already seen the low, folks, and I'll show you why. You know, the bottom line is that you had the market open up. Bottom line, this was a replay of yesterday. Harder to get high, higher, though, but the bottom line, this bounces on. And so what we've done is that you can see each and every time that you came into the, the 64,000 contract, it got lower than that, actually. It got lower than that by... Uh, no, it didn't get lower than that because that bar that I'm looking at uh, was 47, uh, 4392, and we made it to 4394. So I suspect what we're going to see here coming into the close, it's going to try to get higher. It's having a hard time, but this is a bounce in a down market. That's my take on it. But it's going to be just deviant enough to, to, to do the bounce. That's, that's where I see the S&P coming into the close. We go into the Qs. Uh, well, that and that's that's... I'm talking about on a short-term basis, because on a long-term basis, not long, you know, four or five days, <laughs> um, bottom line, you can have another contraction of volume. So what we have here is that you're going higher. Yesterday we contracted. We did uh, 68 million shares. We'll probably do around 60, 65 million today. I expect you're going to contract on volume as you get up somewhere near this, uh, we're at 438. 446 is game. I don't know how it's going to get there, but the bottom line, I suspect that's going to be game. We'll see how it shakes out. My take is that it looks to me like this gold contract has bottoms, folks, okay? I was looking for 1904. I got to 1913. The reason I'm saying that is that you, you've tested it twice. We've tested that twice, and I think the way this is playing out is that this dollar... And we'll know tomorrow, this is a last engulfing on the way up. And if we close lower tomorrow, that's going to say that it couldn't make it to the next swing area. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.